What's going on everyone? So today we're going to be installing some bead locks um, on the Proline BF Goodrich, um, the Crawler TA tires right here. These are a great uh, 1.9 crawler tire and I like them a lot. Um, and I've been using these bead locks um, from Axial for quite a while now. They're an 8 hole 1.9 bead lock wheel and um, it says fits most 1.9 tires. I've had them on these Proline tires. I've had them on a couple other tires before. So I'm going to show you how to install them on, on the tire. You get two of the bead locks here. And then you got some wheel nut covers, little scale hubcaps, and more screws. First thing you want to do is take a 1.5 millimeter um, hex wrench, and you're going to want to loosen the two screws right here and here, and then on the back as well. So let me get the light right. Screw right here and screw right here. Okay, now that we've got the two beadlock rings off, right here, and our four little screws down there, we're going to start by uh, mounting them up. So you got foam in the tire, and um, some tires have an actual direction they're supposed to go, so you'll want to pay attention to that inside or outside, but these doesn't seem to matter. so. I want to push this on into here and you kind of got to work with the foam and the tire. You're just going to push it up into there like that and then push up and get this bead to pop back out. So kind of pull it out. They're lighting now, but this bead right here needs to be seated in. Let's see that groove right there is the um where the bead goes into so you're going to want to just push up on this and then just seat it into there if you push up too much it's not going to want to seat we're doing the front first or the outside some of it can be weird because you're fighting the foam you just kind of make sure it's pushed into there now that the whole bead is seated in the actual tire or the rim, we're going to put our bead lock piece on and we're going to put two screws in across from each other, which is very important. So one down here, one up here. Just start by hand threading those and then got to make sure it's lined up too so it can be a little tricky and we're not going to tighten these down all the way just enough to get that seated in there so we got the the actual uh, the rim piece seated and there's I can stick my 1.5 millimeter wrench in there and I've got play so that's about what you want you just want to make sure the bead hasn't popped out at all it looks like it kind of wanted to on this side but I think it's fine <clears throat> now there's a star pattern you want to do and I know it's super small in the box it's very hard to see but you're going to fasten them um, the way I do it, do one here, one here. So it's a one, two, three, four, five, six pattern. So you start there, go there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a star pattern. I don't tighten them all the way down. And I just um, get them all to about what these are. And then I go back around and tighten them all up. So. Thank you. 
Okay, so we got those all um, screwed into there, and there's still, you know, clay in the actual uh, metal beadlock piece. So now we can go down and tighten them, tighten them all the way down in that star pattern. Um, and what is important is this is a plastic beadlock. So you're threading into plastic, even though it's a metal ring. So you're just going to tighten down until it's it's snug. You don't want to over tighten it on there. So I'm just going until it's nice and snug there. And don't make sure you don't use <clears throat> a um make sure you use hand tools. Don't go using a, a a drill. I mean you can, but you just if you're unscrewing these, I've used a drill. You know, taking them out, it's fine. But if you're putting them in, it's just a little too risky. Okay, and there we go. That actually it looks like it didn't fully seat there. I know we see that, but it's actually gonna be just fine. It's just the way it was sitting in there. Hopefully that's not gonna come out, but we got the front done. Let's move on to the back. <clears throat> I always start with the front and then transition into the back. And this is where you got to pretty much push this rim up. And kind of push the tire up like that. So you can put the bead into here. And you're also fighting the foam back in here. Because the foam wants to get over onto that lip right there, onto the bead too. So just fold it back. And then just start by seating the bead into, into here. The bead of the tire into the, the rim. Okay, we got it seated in there enough to where when you put this metal ring on, It's gonna push it down. You just gotta get it, get it into that lip right there, because then as soon as it clamps down, we just get a little pressure on there. It's just fine. So now we're gonna repeat the same exact process for the uh, rear, and we'll finish off the video after this. All right, so we got the back finished. The bead seated in there actually perfectly. And um, we got one tire done. So you just want to, sometimes what will happen is if you don't tight or, tighten it in that star pattern, that's not going to come out of there, even though it looks like it's going to. It's it's completely fine. I don't know why it's seated like that. It didn't pull the whole thing in. But um, sometimes if you don't tighten it in that star pattern or you tighten down one and it's the ring slanted down, it'll start pulling the bead of the tire out. And these tires are actually been used pretty well, and there's cracks and they're tearing and stuff, but they still got good life left in them. And I really like these bead locks. They're cheap, they're easy, and they last a long time. Never had any issues for durability, so I'd highly recommend these axial bead locks right here. Um, these are like yeah, twenty three bucks at our local hobby shop in town, and. This tire is going to be a little different because it's got a tear right here. And the bead's going to be, yeah, pulling down into there. So i got to figure out how that's going to work. But I'm going to just get as much life as I can out of these tires before they're completely done. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope it helps in case you're wondering how to install bead locks. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.